بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so first let's see standard the basic one now the standard acl can be named or numbered as i said you can identify either with a name or number and if i'm using a number then if i use any number in between 1 to 99 then the router will understand automatically it is a standard acl or even there is expanded range we can also use 1300 to 1699 in some new ios versions so if i'm using any number in this range automatically the router knows that it is a standard acl of course extended acl again there is a number from 100 to 199 this is for extended acls we'll see that in the next slide so what is the speciality here now the standard acl filters based on the source address now filters based on the source means when the packet comes like if you if you try to see the example here we have seen some of the rules in the previous presentations here now when the traffic is coming so normally the traffic will be coming means it has source address destination address also it includes whether it is a tcp protocol or udp protocol also it will include the port number like it is an ftp traffic or whether it is a telnet traffic uh, basically so this all information you will have inside the packet and when you have an acl implemented here the router is going to check only the source address so it will only filter based on the source it will not check the destination address it will not check the service it will not check all these things so that is that is a uh, that is what a standard acl we call it as but whereas in extended it will check many other things so normally packet will have source destination addresses but it will only check the source address just like if you if you just want to compare this with your example as i said a security guard standing on the gate let's say now the security guard is our acl in my example now if if any person is coming probably he is entering to into my trying to enter into my office now this security guard is going to check only the person from where he is coming so let's say if the person is coming from a specific xyz company then basically i'm going to say as per my rule anything coming with this source i'm i'm simply going to say permit so the rule says permit so which means this guy will be allowed into the office but again he is not going to check where he wants to go so what is the destination address he is not going to check whether he is going to meet my hr department or whether he is going to meet a manager or whether he is going to meet an employee so basically that verification that checking is not present in the standard acl and of course it will also not check what is a port number or what what is a job means why he has come basically uh, what exactly he wants okay whether he has come for interview or whether he has come to meet per personally the manager or any of the personal work or any kind of official work something like that these are the general examples i am giving you to understand so that is one limitation that's the reason i said it is like a standard acl is like a basic acls where if you want to do the filtering only based on selected sources and you are not bothered about services or you are not bothered about destination then we can simply use a standard acl okay so the filtering is done based on the source address okay but whereas extend acl will do lot of things like here you can see it matches the source but extend acls it matches the source destination protocol port number many other things so while defining the source now this source address can be a single network like i can say if the packet is coming from 192.168.1. subnet/24 it can be any address from this network range or it can be one single host or it can be like only one single host 1.1 1.1 host or it can be a subnet subnet means again as i said subnetting when you do subnetting whatever the small network we get we call it as a subnet but again it is going to check only the source and this source address can be a complete network or subnet or it can be one single host but again as i said here we cannot define a specific service so it is not going to match uh, the destination address of course it will match these addresses only based on the source not based on the destination 
and of course no selected services can be matched so basically all the services will be blocked because if you're using standard acl the problem is as i said if the user says if the rule says like if you take an example i want to deny if the user is coming from 192.168.1. network and if he's trying to access my http server on 2.1 that is my destination address i'm going to say let's say deny okay and uh, i can say that if the you if the same user the 192.168.1. network if he's trying to access some 2.2 FTP service, I want to say permit, let's say. Now, as in the standard ACLs, we have not defined the destination. So when the packet comes from this source, it will hit the router and the rule says what? Deny and it will deny the traffic when he's trying to access HTTP service. Also, when the same user is trying to access the FTP service, this will also will be denied. Why? Because, because the reason is standard ACL is not checking the destination as well as the service even though as per the rules let's say as per my requirement let's say i want to allow this user to access this specific ftp service but that's not allowed because in, in standard acl that is not allowed okay but this is something you can do more better in extended acls so that's the reason if you are writing any specific rules and where you want to do filtering based on multiple things like you want to define the rule based on the source, destination, even the protocol and port number, protocol type means this is your TCP, UDP kind of thing, protocol headers options. Okay. So basically, this is all information we can match in the extended ACLs. So in simple, if you want to write an ACL rule only to match the source address and you are not bothered about any specific services, then we can use a standard ACL. But let's say you want to write an ACL statement where you want to specifically filter the traffic based on from selected source to selected destinations. Or even you want to say, okay, hello FTP, but not HTTP, something like that. Then in that scenarios, I'll be using extended ACLs. Because in extended ACLs, again, this can be a number or named. And if I use any number in between 100 to 199, the router will understand that it is an extended ACL. And if I use, also this is an expanded range. This this also can be the range. And the good thing about the extended ACL is, as I said, it is advanced. It is going to check based on the source, destination, protocol, and port number, specific service. So if all these parameters matches, then only it will say match. And in that match statement, if I say permit, it will permit the traffic. If I say deny, it will deny the traffic. Okay, so we can match specific host, network based on the source as well as destination unlike the standard ACL and also we can match specific service also again as I said the advantage we can match selected services can be permitted or blocked of course if I say permit it will permit if I say deny it will deny the traffic okay so we'll, we'll see when we get into the configurations but the simple uh, difference between the standard and the extended ACL is but the standard ACLs only matches the source IP, no services. Also, it will not match the destination also. So irrespective of what destination it goes, if it matches the source address, it will simply match the rule. And if you say permit, it will permit. If you say deny, it will deny. So ACL will only match. And in that, we can say whether to permit or deny. But again, if you're going with advanced scenarios, we always prefer to use extended ACLs because we can match a specific source and destination as well as specific port numbers and many other parameters like quality of service parameters. There are a few other options we can also match. Basically those options we have in extended ACL. So most of the time we prefer to use extended ACLs, but again, in the beginning, we'll only see the standard ACL in the beginning just to understand the flow of the ACLs. But later on in the next sessions, we'll also see how to configure and verify the extended ACLs also.